Hello everybody, welcome to Modern Video with The Rock. Uh, this is the name comes from a very old time of uh, a Spirit Mongrel Pernicious D, the Black Green deck. In those days, uh, it's a little bit harder to come across a deck like this. You would call it like a rep group, Golgari midrange. Uh, you know, uh, Jund with, uh, uh, I, I've, I actually tried last week a Rakdos midrange, a fair version of Rakdos midrange that, that did well in uh, the um, uh, Star City game event, a read it Zoom playing plenty of Jund midrange, uh, so today I felt like playing some, some uh, uh, The Rock, some, some Golgari midrange that uh, Electric Bob on Magic Online has been doing well with. Uh, 4-0 the preliminary and some other good results, so I figured, you know, people, I'm sure people would love to see some Tarmogoyf dark, dark confident action, just like uh, the old days. A uh, lot of questionable choices in this deck, so let's come across them. First is with a Bloom Command, so this deck does a lot of things. Uh, you choose two among them. Uh, most likely, I think your goal is always going to be to kill an X1 creature and maybe draw a card with the a mill 3 get a land back. Or you can kill a permanent that's not a creature. Um, or you can drain for two. Drain for two doesn't seem exciting, but you know the other the rest of the modes seems okay. And of course, you play against some aggressive decks, draining for two life doesn't seem bad. Um, what else we have here? We have Urza Saga Package, and it's playing a card that I'm sure um, any of you have never seen before. It is Bag of Holding. Uh, it is a card advantage engine that takes a long time go, to go online, but can take over the game. I'm expecting this card to be okay against other mid-range decks, but pretty bad otherwise. So I'm I don't know. I'm I'm it's here. If I if I go up a, a card or two cards with this one, I'm gonna be happy probably and sideboard it out often, but we'll see. Uh we got bomb, shadow spear drum, so the classic of eight discord spell with four thoughts for inquisition, which is definitely a lot. This deck doesn't play Spiromancer, so this one in late game might not be that exciting. Uh, but yeah, we have Bloodshift Thirst, uh, notably one thing, so, um, this deck is gonna pick up, I think, a couple of good new cards from the new set. Uh, first one, I think, so, the reason why we have to play Bloodshift Thirst is the lack of answers to, um, the lack of answers to, uh, Ren and Six, but, uh, we're gonna have Shieldred Edict soon, uh, which is a pretty powerful card, as it sacrifices a, it's an edict for non-token creature or token creatures or planeswalker. So, you know, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Definitely, I think, an upgrade to Bloodship Thirst, in my opinion. Uh, then we have a sideboard. Uh, since we're playing Giganta, we can play uh, good cards like Endurance. Um, against the Merc Tide, there's another very cool idea, which I've never actually tried, but... I'm sure the Bitter Blossom is going to pre be pretty good against Merc Tide. I mean, not only blocks Ragavan, and so it's just card advantage, and you maybe don't take as much damage. Uh, maybe you take out Confident for Bitter Blossoms. Uh, yeah, I don't think you can have both. You have some removal spells, some Turak, uh, some more, uh, um, some more uh, package of uh, Urza Saga. Oh, you also have Elvish Reclaimer, so you can get your Urza Saga that way. Or you can go Gogari Growth Farm to go card advantage. That's pretty cool if you don't have a land drop. All right, so overall, this is the deck. Uh, again, obviously, uh, this is not... I mean, if you see my content, you know that I often just play, like, the, the tier one. Uh, often tier ones to, 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 to show uh, what's, mm, what's modern looking like, as well as, you know, some, some brews here and there. Not my brews, but uh, some, some interesting brews that I see online that also won some events. So I'm not just playing a, a deck that I know is going to go 0-5, uh, you know? Uh, but... I like to also be honest with my viewers. I'm not gonna claim that uh, this deck is gonna be the best thing ever, but yeah, if we do like a 4 1, uh, I'm gonna be very happy about it. Hello. This is round number two of the league. It might be round one for YouTube. Who knows? Let's reveal Giganta now. Alright, alright, this thing can go places. This deck can go places. Hello, good morning, good morning. It is Monday, and I opened a very nice three lens for spells hand. One day I'll be on the play, but that day is not today. Let's play this Inquisition of Kozilek first. Let's see what you got. Whoa, that's Living End. Okay, we have Bajuka Bog in the sideboard, which is not the best place to be. 
Opponent with a good old straight right end of turn. Nice, nice. Mm-hmm. Let's draw. I have to play the Saga because Saga makes me to up the new spell bomb as soon as possible. And I can play this Dark Confidant. And this Bag of Holding is just, just, just chilling in our hand here. Looking for its time to shine. Maybe yeah, against that. My previous opponent playing Rackless Scam, Bag of Holding might have been good. But I just need to never drew it. Alright, is this the time to pack it up? Not yet, I mean they might never draw a Cascade spell with discarded one. Upkeep? No, okay, actually no action here it looks like, so they did not find the thing. Very nice. Uh, very nice. Um... That thought sees you. Architect, yeah, it's the cycler. Who cares? It doesn't really matter. Hey, I think I'm just casting a goy, hoping my opponent uh, just loses. You know, that might happen. Next, next turn, I get the the news pebble. So if opponent doesn't find a cycler, we win the game. Thy so well, that's a very hard name you have right there. Uh, but thank you for your prime sub. Thy Soothsalian. Hope I pronounced that right. Probably not. Did you see the post on Twitter where someone tagged you as going to tell two? Do you know any magic that players from Turkey? From Turkey? Hmm. Do you know any magic player from Turkey? Uh not on top of my head, no. Hello, thank you so much for the uh, second month. And also, it's not boosters. Ooh, one year. Hello, it's not boosters. How's it going? Have I played Arena recently? Nope, that was almost last year at this point. So for asking too many questions. No, no, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. I have nothing to do. I'm just playing Living End. There's not really much game plan right now. All right, looks like we win. Very nice. And... Well, mm, I'm just making a token here. I'll tell you why. Because uh, my opponents living again right now do not uh, bring anything back from the graveyard. That's true. But they might um, sweep my board. So I don't want to overextend. I'm just going to have my bomb in play, attack, and uh, yeah. And if they sweep my board, I will have... Uh, other things in play. Do I want to play a bag of holding? Or hold this up? I think I'll play a bag of holding, yeah. Okay. And pass. And we just have the bomb in play right now, and yeah. Opponent uh, will have to go for a. Um, End. What country you most want to travel to? The country I most want to travel to. Uh, what's the country I mostly want to travel to? I like Spain a lot. So yeah, if there's a tournament in Spain, I always want to go. Good morning, Snow Booster. Thank you. Am I excluding to play MTGO because I like more format? Um, also, I really don't like the arena system at all. Just playing for nothing, I really don't like that. Not that I like to gamble, play for anything, but just, yeah, arena makes me feel like uh, my opponent never care about the match. Uh, play badly, concede, and uh, that doesn't, it's not fun for me. Alright, now, uh, we have Soga Lantern, uh, Bajuka Bog, um, that's it. Uh, let's take out the Bug of Holding, definitely too slow in this matchup. And, uh, well, I mean, if I could, I would remove all the removal I would cut all the removal spells. But, unfortunately, I cannot. I guess Turak is better than 
other cards. I mean, the bag of holding is, is definitely better. I mean, I, I can't think of Federal Push being a good card in this matchup. I can go Pissing Needle naming straight rate. Is that better than go for the throat? Probably. Uh, all right, let's go. Do you know you? St I don't. Sorry, but I'm glad that he won a GP. <coughs> okay, my hand doesn't have any cyber hate, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I can't read it. Molly got a hand like this. Would you pity me a random fetch line? No, if I pity me, I would name straight raid probably. Naming the random fetch line is not my type. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What's interaction between rest in peace and bag of holding? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But that's a good question. If I knew the answer. All right, let's bubble myself first, because then I have um yeah these. A visual claimer. Uh, I think I like that. That gets me a bazooka bog. So let's play this. I don't want to play Urbor because Urbor lets my opponent hard cast. Uh... Oh, I bricked. Wow. Urborg lets my opponent art cast the uh, grief. Draw a card. Go, go. I'll play the Abish Reclaimer. I guess I'm playing the Rot Farm now. Yeah, why not? There's no Pulminator or Maging Living End anymore these days. And now I have to hope my opponent doesn't go straight rate, straight rate, Cascade, you lose. Okay, they can't Cascade with those mana, so. That's good for me. Um, mm -mm. Yeah. Pass. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. They have four cards. I think I want to do this now. Or do I want to hold the Elvish Reclaimer up the whole game? Well, I can also do that. No, I think I want to go right now. And, uh, yeah, Cause my problem was, if my opponent just plays a land, I have to hold this Reclaimer up the whole game. Whereas now, I'm just happy to eat seven cards, and they have to now, I don't know, cycle again, like, uh, I don't know. I might, might be wrong, it might be a wrong play. I'm not saying it was the right play. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, I just play a Tarmogoy from Pass here, keeping up this Reclaimer to get Urza Saga. Yeah, exactly, Mvani. I can sacrifice the Bajuka Bog and then bring it back with, with a Bloom Command. They can see the match. Yep. That's good. Uh, my opponent bricked, and uh, we are happy that um, we are not playing Living End. <laughs> it definitely feels like uh, something uh, that was uh, highly uh, um, inconsistent. The combination of missing for in the first game, missing to find a living end. In the second game, missing to find a, um, I mean, mana.
All right, let's go. Giganta. Hola. Uh, let's keep. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's begin. I'll go Blooming Marsh, Thought Seas. Oh, interesting. Playing against uh, uh, that deck. That's good. Uh, my hand is very good against that deck. I'm going to wait to play Reclaimer until it's a 3-4. Uh, Saga is excellent against the Blue or Merc Tide. So we just do that. Funnily enough here, I could cast Armago if the only failed case is if my opponent uh, finds exactly on top red land. But if they don't, they have to fetch in order to cast that lightning bolt, and it doesn't kill Goif. So despite Goif, I mean, if that goes part of Canal Bolt, they'll kill my Goif. But it's unlikely to do that, so I'm just playing the Goif here. Again, I don't want to play Reclaimer because it dies to Bolt, whereas this Goif doesn't. Remember, if Goif is a 2-3 without instanting the grave, your lightning bolt does not kill it. By the Rob. Thank you, thank you, By the Rob. Welcome. Our opponent chose not to flood as Frank consider because they were hoping to draw Sparkle of Canal or a Fiery Islet or a Steam Bends. But they didn't, so now my Goif is out of the burn range. And now they play consider. Mm, not, not. Not, I can't say I'm a fan of their play, but it is what it is. Just wasting a mana with a deck that really wants to be mana efficient. All right, I drew the card. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. On top draw, play Blooming Marsh. Make a token pass. Token pass. Now, with the Ursa Saga, Probably just taking a Nihil Spellbound to begin. Just resetting the radar is very important. Yeah, putting just do two damage and just load themselves a lot with that not casting consider in the turn. Urza Sagan, this deck isn't as good as Urza Sagan, many other decks. Uh, you know my feelings about Urza Saga in fair decks. It's just not that great, but at the same time, it is obviously a land that can't be countered that makes a lot of card advantage. So I'm making two creature, and then I'm cleaning my opponent graveyard in upkeep in, in my tournament. Pumping the Goyf a lot here, too. It's no joke. Oh, uh, Nihil Spellbomb. Alright, let's attack for... Um, so they have two lightning bolts, so I think I'm just attacking with both. Like, at this point, I don't care if my opponent, uh, Ragavan mm, connects. Like, they can go bolt my construct attack, I'm okay with that. I'll go swamp and just clean uh, their graveyard. My, my golf is still gonna be very large. I want to clean their graveyard also because of Anoli Heat that wants to kill the Goif. Yep, exactly. This was all in the plans. Ragavan connects, finds an Elvish Reclaimer, which is okay. It's a blocker. Could have uh, kept both the construct back, put in needed to double bolt them, but I would have missed three points of damage, which I think is more relevant than a Ragaman hit. Mm -hmm. 
They have full cards in it, and it might have counterspell with this mana up, so I'm gonna um draw card first. Uh nice, that's good now. I'm gonna lead on a thought seize. Hoping to discard a card like so Pierce. Interesting. I think I'm not paying here. Because I really want to with a bloom command this uh this ragavan right now. Uh I'll do minus three, minus one, and then I want to drain you for through for two here. Go another spell pierce or a spells in the air, I know. But I can also just have counter spells in end, and this is a good window to do so. Oh, no, I just slow roll. Okay. Mm, now you're at five. Uh, should I attack just with Goif? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think just with Goif. I probably just have to chum block now. Uh, what next? Do I just want to cast this Reclaimer? The problem is that Reclaimer dies to Bolt. But then the Construct blocks the Ragavan. Mm. Goyf is now out of the Anoli Heat range, which is nice. I really don't want to, my Reclaimer to die. I'd rather them to, um, to just needing to bolt this construct and then connect the Ragavan, hoping to find a Fatal Push. Hopefully they don't find a Fatal Push. And then I'll be able next turn to go Reclaimer with Peatland up, so it doesn't die to bolt, which my opponent used. Now, it's a risky way to play this game, but I think it's okay. The reveal, Inquisition of Kozilek. Alright, they managed to get rid of my Reclaimer, but like, how do they beat my Goyf now? We'll see. This is a fun matchup. Yeah, yeah, it's been fun. All right, they cast a new Ragavan as a chum blocker to go with. That was the only way they had to not die. All right, so um, I'll play uh, Peatland first in Sake because I might draw a removal spell and win the game. All right, um, first I will... Uh, they have two stuppies in the Gary Sock. First I will bathe with these. And I will uh, uh, attempt to see if they have a counter spell here. If they don't, I win the game. All right, GG. So um, one thing that you maybe just if you play against you don't see that sometimes uh, Merktide might seem bad or clunky. My opponent fetched Island, which was a mistake because they had Otawari in end, so that was already uh, an Island they had, and they had two bolts. Uh, often with that deck, you need to double red. So yeah, you just sh they sh should have fetched a second steam vents because they died playing one red spell at a turn or using like yeah. So that's important thing to do. Um, if you already have an island or not a war in your hand that you plan on playing as an island, if you play Merc Tide, just get double steam vents. Three damage seems like they hurt you a lot, but you know if not casting your spells hurts you more. All right, now we have a uh, bitter blossom. Probably I like Bajuka Bog. Uh, go for the throat for sure. What do we remove? I think I'm removing Dark Confident if I'm bringing in Bitter Blossom. Um, I'll keep Bozeju because it kills her as a uh, Blood Moon. I'll take out. I'll take out Urborg. Let's take out two more cards. They might just be discrete spells. Uh, actually, I really hate Spring the Drum. I think it's a super weak card. I'm holding uh, the bag. I'm holding the bag here. Alright, let's go. I think that's a plausible sideboard. Well, Ender, it's okay. I'll 
I don't like to mulligan against decks like against midrange decks. Every card matters, and uh, eventually we draw land. It's not that I mean this this game is gonna be slow. I have removal spell for Ragavan, hopefully. Well, Goyf was very good this game. It was an unkillable threat. Okay. I'm gonna bubble my... Um, I mean, it's likely that they... I guess I'm gonna bubble myself. I wanna have more information. Mamma mia. Okay, skip. Why does cards always come in pack of three? All right. Thankfully, my opponent in hand is also super reactive, so we are blessed. Let's draw another Wizard Bloom Command. Alright, let's hope to draw land. Even if we brick, it's okay. We have. Alright, we didn't brick. Although I have to take three damage to slam this Bitter Blossom, and my opponent, nah, it's okay. I think this is the time to play Bitter Blossom here. All right, let's go, Bitter Blossom. You do, you do, you do your thing. Yeah, Bitter Blossom exactly shines against this type of hand. Yeah, three removal spell. What are you gonna do? Kill all my fairies? All right, let's see if they go for Blood Moon. All right, they don't. Two thoughts is though. Ooh, go if that's large. What about I just hit a land drop with with a blue command here? I think so. I'm gonna drain you for two, which is card disadvantage, but uh, getting back a land, it's card, it's card parity, and I need lands right now, so. I'm gonna do um, target player miss three card and I drain you for two. Drain you for two is bad. The missing land drop is is worse. All right, I mill three pretty bad cards. So happy. And then I'll go Swamp, Thoughtseize. Nice. I sniped the Merc the Regent right on time <laughs> before it was coming down to be extremely large. If they find a land to play that subtlety. Or they don't. Very good. And Breed of Blossom keeps on grinding. Attack for one first. If you want to play a Lightning Bolt, you're welcome to. Then I certainly want to thoughts is your uh, your subtlety. Wow, you have blood moon. I don't think I care if you play blood moon, do I? Maybe I should. Maybe I should, but I don't. So if I remove blood moon, I even get the Lyrian. Yeah, I just take subtlety. Now, um, they don't have delirium, so they have to double burn my goeth. Yeah, I think that, look, that looks great. Or... Or I can play... Nah, it's fine. I think I have to play this goeth in case they go blood and then I can't cast it anymore. Yeah, yeah, sometimes Goyf dies to one mana removal spell, that's true, but I mean, it costs two mana, it's not that it costs, like, four. Okay, but it chose to not double burn it. Oh, okay, 
<coughs> they got rewarded by waiting. They drew a bubble, so now they can one mana kill it. So this is why Goyf is bad <coughs> right now in modern. Because you just can't afford to play a creature that doesn't have an ATB effect. Because it just dies to the super efficient removals playing the format. But that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I mean, I have this, <coughs> this is my plan right now against them with three in the sideboard. If we had Dark Confident, it would have died. Whereas we have Bitter Blossom, which is likely winning the game. So I net decked a player who had a plan. I net decked a player who, you know, <clears throat> again, like won a tournament with this deck. <clears throat> I guess we went four in a preliminary. It's kind of like winning a tournament. So they had in mind something. And this is the difference between net decking <clears throat> or brewing is that, sorry, I don't know what happened to my voice. <clears throat> when you net deck a player that won something, I usually have plans. Uh, on Magic Online, that, that is. Alright, so, uh, let's keep on doing this thing. So I'm casting and draining, because I have to balance my Bitter Blossom loss, life loss. So first, me, then you. So when, I, when I saw this list and I saw the Bitter Blossom, I thought, wow, that's weird. And then I was like, ooh, that's cool. <laughs> Alright, let's take this land. Now, I think I want to draw a card here. I guess I just want to go back to Gantha? Nah. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'm drawing a card. The reason why is I might have drawn like a fetch land, which uh, tutors up a forest or a fort. Is he a problematic card? No, no. I think the increase of answers makes the format much better. And what's why modern is great is because of the gr the very many answers in the format. All right, is this blood in the time? It is. It is. The point is definitely not blood in me now. So I can't cast my great cards anymore. I had many chances of drawing a fetch land or a forest, but I just failed. Wow, they still don't blood in me. Crazy. You think this spell in their main deck is too many? No, I think it's fine. I mean, for a, for a long tournament, something like uh, PTQ or Magic Online, yeah, I think it's perfect. For a your local league, maybe it's too many, but, you know. If you expect to play against the top tier decks, I think it's a proper number. Alright, I drew a forest, but they, they fetched the blood went away, so it didn't matter anymore. Go for the throw this shredder. I don't think modern is gonna be good in modern. In a, sorry, I don't think Infix is gonna be good in modern now. Let's attack. And I think I, I keep been playing with the Bloom Command here. Maybe I was supposed to um, do this first, but again, I'm, I'm just happy to have an answer to Bloodman now. Hello, the Empire. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's do this again for the third time with the same mode of gaining life and milling. I've gained six life this game, balancing the Bitter Blossom. Go. What is that called? The Rock. It's an old name. It comes from Spirit Mongrel plus uh, Pernicious D days. Um, I don't really know the story, but... When I played pre-modern, the, the, Golgari, the Golgari deck was called The Rock. Great! Bitter Blossom gets the job done against Blue Red Merktai. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Yeah, this is gonna be an easy uh, putting the first match at the end of the video type of league. The, the first match was just bad. It was just it was a bad match. I mean, surely I lost, but it was also I think not that entertaining. And if I make a YouTube video, I I have to be entertaining. All right, let's go. Very good end. Well, in that game should have definitely played Blood Moon. I don't get why they never did. I casted so many spells I couldn't cast if they Blood Moon me. Merktide is a tough deck. Not so, not claiming it isn't. All right, so Flood Strand go. That's more likely to be a um, yeah. It's very likely to be a 
Lure Merkdai deck. Uh, what do I start with? Mm. Do I need double green? I think so. I think I'm gonna get a Hovergren too in the Inquisition. Clickbait, Goyf is back with Mangus face on the Goyf. I was more thinking about um, Dark Confident, but yeah, also Goyf seems okay. Alright, so they have Dress Down for my main way hand. Uh, Alright, I have to take Dress Down first, and then I'll take the Fairy, I guess. What did we lose against round one? A Recto Scam. Thank you, Murky Mark Funky Beach. That was a nice uh, piece of information. Soul Modka, creator of The Rock, used Parashan Plague Lord, also known as Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Nice. It's a rainforest go. Mm hmm. Pushy, pushy. All right, I want to talk to your uh, Teferi away now. I want to Totsis your Teferi away now, and I play Saga to make some value with it. This might be a match for Bag of Holding. Yeah, I mean, actually the clickbait might be just Bitter Blossom, honestly. It might be. Yeah, you got him banned. Unfortunately, the, the thoughts is bug. Makes my opponent redrew the Teferi. But that's okay. Leave by the thoughts is bug. You wanna go Goyf? And pass. Hello, Janko. Good morning. This is a 4 5, so it's gonna attempt to kill Teferi next turn. Throw the Ganjo. Okay, opponent should use sorceries as instance. Decided not to. And uh, I'm just going for a double creature here. Not just going for the construct. I think it's better to do this. Castle of Interest. And remember, they have a Ganjo and Snapcaster Mage. Solitude. That's good, Solitude now, unfortunately. Drop. Push. Oh, mamma mia, push. Que schifo. I was really hoping to draw land here so that my Reclaimer could go bigger. What am I getting? Drum? I like the bomb maybe because there's enough caster mage. I think I'm getting the drum though. Ah, uh, so next turn I can activate one reclaim or attack with the other. Maybe. Wow, they bounce their own solitude. Interesting play. Did it draw another? Oh, because they have Napcaster Wrath. Nice play there. I didn't think about this. Huh, that's cool. I did not think about this play from my opponent. So they have solitude in hand. And we have, uh, yeah, nothing. Nothing at all. Congrats, opponent. Very, very good line there. Counter spell, I'm just scooping. I could go on for a while and then lose in 20 minutes, but I decided that 
I want to save some time. All right, let's bring in those five two drops. I think all this card is a pretty medium. I'm taking out Shadow Spear. I'll leave in the bag this game. All right, easy sideboard. Let's go. Eep. All right, good. Lurus Companion, yeah. Can you suck the Saga of the stack? Yeah, yeah, you can suck the Saga before it dies. Maybe I could have done that. Yeah, for sure. Um. Okay, let's go. I want to cycle with this. Oh, I think so. I want to draw a second land here. Obviously, I should have. Should have bought my opponent. It makes no sense to bought myself. But anyway, I guess I'm I'm used to it. This is a mistake, but that's okay. I like Magic Online more. Might for rest in peace. That's a good suggestion. I didn't think about it. It does seem Lilan Binding was said it might. Uh, my opponent doesn't play Lilan Binding, right? They can't play Lilan Binding with that mana base. Attack and play in position, then uh, yeah, do some card advantage with uh, bounce lands. Such a great technology to bounce land. Just a land that does card advantage, <laughs> a common land that does card advantage. What a world! All right, so I think I'm taking rest in peace. Ops, a couple of things going on here, most notably Tarmogoyf. Assume Rod Farm is to bounce Bazeju. Nah, it's to card advantage with a land that you can tutor up with the Reclaimer. Okay, so they have Counterspell up, but I also dislike Archmage Charm. So I think the way I'm going to do this is uh, Swamp Thoughtseize, take Archman Charm Pass. You have uh, any MTG Finance regards to E-Price as an MTG O. You shouldn't buy any cards on Magic Online. Because the way that they break companies uh, uh, using Magic Online is that uh, they reprint anything to make it appealing. But your card's worth nothing in the long run, so yeah, that's my say right now. If they break keeps in doing this a strategy, you should never buy any cards, just get rental systems. Spoken by a person that doesn't use a rental system, but bought all the cards, so I'm now priced in and just, you know, keep on buying in things. And they will keep losing their value, so not great, but yeah. It's how magical that works right now. Not a fan of the new system. But alright. Uh, let's keep on doing the valley with uh with our Ursa saga now. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Nice, very good draw. I can go over a grunt tomb and inquisition you. Okay, it's a counter spell. Do I want to make a token or do something else? No, I just want to make a construct, I think. So I'll just attack and pass. You didn't want to blow up Rip with command. That's a very good point, uh, Peary. I didn't think about it. Thank you. I could have with the command uh, rest in peace. I did not think about it. Yeah, I should have done that. Next turn I can do the um, Urza Saga on the stock. Let's see if I want to do it. It's not guaranteed that I want to do it.
Enchanting. Wow. A couple of enchantments by my opponent. Okay. Token. Now. Uh, draw. Now. Main phase. Hmm. I'm a little bit afraid of Teferi. I don't want to. I don't want to lose my saga. I don't want to lose my land. Hmm. I can Evish Reclaimer this. But what do I get? I don't have Pithy Needle, right? Yeah, I wish I had Pithy Needle in my deck. What do we get here? Another Saga? I might. Not sure if not sure if this is worth it. This might play might just be bad. Uh, what do I do here? I can't use any of those things because of because of Stony Silence. I guess I'm just taking a Nihil spell bomb, and just yeah, it's just I chose there. Power two. I can go to Fairy, but. If they just plus one, it dies because they have five power. There's the hero. Mikosynth Garden. Uh, that's a sweet light land, yeah. That's a sweet land for sure. All right, we're on top of the Confidant. Very strong. Let's draw a draw. Nice, we found a land thanks to the Confidant. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, apply Lethal to Teferi, hoping my opponent doesn't have any flesh cards. Very sweet. Very sweet. Very happy. Alright, now I'm going to go with a good command. Uh, I want to drain you and destroy... So the, the way they happen is first I mill and return a land and then I destroy, so... What do I want to destroy though? I think I want to destroy the Stony Silence here. Funnily enough, it's more impactful than the Rest in Peace. So. We have Saga again, if they sweet. Right. I'll have the Pithy Needle for game three. Um, oh, it's tough here. Maybe I want to remove um, the drum. Yeah, let's remove the drum. I really wish I don't draw a drum. A natural. This deck looks pretty fun. How so far? Yeah, I mean, it's been working, I'd say. All right, that's good end. I don't have any any of my eight uh, discard spell, which is unfortunate. Drunk Pithy Needle is also bad. That's the thing with Urza Saga. You draw your one offs and they're mostly awful, but yeah, it's part of the plan. Unfortunately, sometimes it happens to be like this. I've got Reclaimer and pass. I could have bubbled them if I've seen like a, I don't know, a Flawless Strand or something. I could have put the needle it, but the fact that I had a Steam uh, Scalding Tarn. You want the might? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't seem like a great card here. Wow, I can name uh, the Wandering Emperor. You play Marvel Snap. I only play Magic the Gathering. 
But Marvel Snap wants to send me a mug. Why don't you start getting Urza Saga? Or is that a bad idea? Bad idea. I think I'm just attacking and playing away here. You played against somebody called Ignori Grande? Yeah, it's the original owner of the account. What's Bagavolding for? For the grindy matchup. It's when you need it's when you need a grinder. Counter spell, va bene. I don't mind getting my goif countered. It actually grows it grew the second goif. Minor misstep. Yeah, it's interesting. Car for modern. You should watch my Sunday Merc that video where I talked about minor misstep at the beginning of it. And also go fiber with Merc Tide. Hoping to teach you some some uh, some things about it. Alright. Um mm -mm, I think I wanna do land. Pit the needle on the Wandering Emperor, which we got to see with the Mishra's Bubble. So when you think of a Mishra's Bubble, you shouldn't think of it as a Cyclar. You should think of it as a, so many other things. It's so much more than a Cyclar. I think it's a Gitaxin Probe, but... It's closer to the Gitaxian probe than straight rate for zero. That's for sure. Okay, they go Emperor pitching. Sorry, they go so I should pitch Emperor. I don't want to kill my reclaimer. Mm-hmm. I get Urza Saga. Obviously opponent baited me, so now they're gonna blow me out somehow, but yeah. That'll happen. Probably not Teferi Bounce or something like that. Or Spreading Seas. Yeah, I mean, I knew this was going to happen. I knew some bait were going to happen here, but... We had to fall into it. I'm gonna go with a Bloom Command. Mill and Grain. So once again, you know, not Grey. But uh, yeah, getting back in Urza Saga is strong indeed. Ass, that's the perfect uh, setup for Urza Saga. So play Boseju, and then Thought sees you in case you have a dress down for my saga. Wow, you have two dressed out. Okay, I'll uh, take one then. And then I will pass the turn. Theory, okay. I bounce my saga. Mm hmm. You draw land, okay. The Supreme Verdict, that keep in mind. Oh, you shut in tab so you can ending my construct. I was pretty lucky to draw land there, but you know, it's part of the it's part of the game we play. You play around stuff, put and played around uh, drawing a land and, and, and got rewarded. So good on you, opponent. Um yeah, no, I think I lose. Oh, 
with pass seven eight. It goes Nuffcaster ending here. Oh, Chalice of the Void on one. Wow. That's not very good. Okay. Uh, let's attempt to kill the Teferi. That's really not very good. Okay, now I will play. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Now I will go land the Supreme Verdict and Snapcaster Mage. Um, I'll go with a Bloom Command, killing the Chalice and Milling. And I'll pass it her. If I drew, nope. I was hoping to mill a um, Urza Saga, but that didn't happen. And now I pass. Alright, now I can make a token here. I know that I can Supreme Verdict instant speed, but still, that's okay. And draw. Oh, very strong. Very strong here. Bit of blossom. Why did my bag of holding go? No, I mailed it. Um. Now. Let me play with a bit of blossom. Like attack. Bit of blossom is going to be excellent again. Yep. Now, if I draw both Confident and Go, if the opponent plays Napcaster Mage, will the heal spell but me responds? Seems fine to me. Well, that was a very good turn. Hello, Zemo. That was a very good turn. We just dropped, uh, we dropped three really strong cards. Against Blue Eye Control, specifically. You plus one to Fairy. You have two cards, one of which is a Snapcaster Mage. And, uh, what's that, three? Oh, you drew another Supreme Verdict. I wish it didn't happen. Let's make a token. Draw. Wow, Turek. Yeah, Turek is strong. When it will play in the Snuffcaster Mage in response. So it's just a 2 1. Better than nothing, I think. Henning Soil. Thank you. You want to play Legacy Band? Sure. Why not? Seems like a good deck for sure. Best of luck. Alright, so that's a 2 minus 2 1. Protection from white. I'm gonna make my bomb chill there. I don't want to be proactive with it. Oh, you bounce my bitter blossom. No. You find a disc spell. You find a counter spell now. Wish I held my Tarak. Rest in peace. The famous rest not cast a rest in peace combo. Uh, I guess I have to do this first, otherwise it doesn't draw me a card. 
because this only triggers when he goes to the graveyard. Okay. Tox is nice. They probably have a counter spell in end. Maybe it was rest in peace, Snapcaster combo. Make sure to draw me in the right order like my opponent did. I guess Snapcaster didn't do much either way. But... Alright, they tap. Three for another Teferi. Okay. Okay. What do you do with it? You bounce a token. Sure. 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 So you have one card with zero cards. Nice. Draw. Urza Saga is a good one. Do I want to trade Snapcaster with Teferi? Hmm, it sounds pretty bad. I don't want to do it, no. I'm going to draw a card with the Peatland first. Or... No, nah, maybe I just rather take back Gigantha this turn. Pass. I'm at 14. I'm holding the Turak back. Protection from a white, I think it's more important than trading with a Snapcaster right now. The plus one. So the one mystery card in end. It's a land. They have Castle Vantress. I'll make a token. And draw. Forest. Second chapter. I think I'm gonna crack this peatland now. I wish Reclaimer. Yeah, better than nothing. Uh, so they have two Supreme Verdict already here, and they will be able to stride to. Am I? Yeah, I think I'm just... Yeah, I don't, I don't mind if they... I don't mind if they uh, draw Supreme Verdict. I mean, obviously, if they... I'd rather they don't, but... You, you want Creature Lands in my deck? Well, I've heard a saga. The best Creature Lands ever made. Alright, so they scry. Let's see how they do it. They scry too. Let's see how they do it. They bottom both of them. That's good news. The carries on only on two chapters. Only two counters. Wow, they play land. Nice. They get three bad cards in the in a row. The carry goes to three now. And they pass the turn. Make a token with my saga. If I can. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. I can do a lot of uh, shenanigans now. This is really shenanigans uh, a dream world. Because I get to um, draw steps. I go to three. Now check it out. I can. Make a token, and then use Elvish Reclaimer to suck Saga, and get another Saga. Isn't that crazy? That's very strong. So I don't lose a land drop and everything. And I get a bubble as well. I, I forgot about that. Okay. Eh, that's nice. Let's attack. Um, this goes to Teferi, and this goes to Teferi, yeah. Yeah, I like to kill Teferi, if possible. I'll hold the bubble there. The chum block, right. So they're setting all the steps for top deck in the Supreme Verdict, which obviously I could happen. I'm not saying uh, it will never happen. Maybe I was supposed to tap it to Rack as well this turn. Yeah, maybe you should tap it to Rack as well this turn. And they scry. Let's see how they do with the scry. Scry two. Bottom both. Very nice. But I did a good old uh, fetch first and then scry after bottoming twice earlier. Do Am I interested in bubbling them? That will decrease the constructs. Hmm. Let's see what they do. I think if they leave a card on top, I want to bubble them. Let's see what they do. They bought them both again. Alright. 
Teferi is on two, so can draw a card. Why did I chose to sacrifice Saga instead of bounce in it? Because I have another Saga now. You wanted me to sacrifice a land to get Golgari Rot Farm bounce Saga on the stack? Yeah, that was also a lot of available play for sure. Okay, I'm not sucking the bubble because that increases my uh, my construct. So I'm just taking a draw, making a token. That goes to two. I will uh, thoughts is you just in case you have a set of the wreckage. What do you have Supreme Verdict? I just lost two life. That's okay to me. I don't think my life total matters. Let's see what you have. Supreme Verdict. Yeah, alright, that's cool. I'll go Elvish Reclaimer. Sacrificing. Actually, let me sacrifice the Bozeju. Let me sacrifice the Bozeju here. And get another Saga, yes. Uh, okay. And then, um, and then that's it. You and go. Wish it didn't happen, but it happened. Can't do much about it. Alright, you have no cards in hand. And go ahead. Saga's on three now. Sorry, Teferi's on three now. Uh, do I want to bubble you? No, I'd rather not. Hello, Dogger Ock. Uh, Castle Ventress in upkeep, okay. The bottom both again. Uh, yeah, no, again, I don't want to uh, use the bubble. Hello, Super Trump. You're balancing my Bitter Blossom drawing a card. Okay. Bitter Blossom has done a very good work in this league so far. Excellent against uh, Merc Tide and uh, Blue White Control. We lost to Erecta Scam. Four mana. Jason is Sculpture. Sure. <laughs> or is a saga. Jokes on you, Jason is Sculpture. What's the next event I'm planning to participate? The Four Seasons in Bologna. 35 March. Best event. <clears throat> Best current event uh, if you are a modern legacy player. <clears throat> e okay, you did your brainstorm and you played your fetch land. Okay. Take a token. Again, I don't want to set this bubble. The glorious anthem I think might ma matters more than the card right now. Draw land, no worries. Make a token. Get a Mishra's bubble. Hey, what do I don't want to do now? Do I want to Inquisition my opponent? Nope, I don't think so. Uh, let's begin by attacking Jace. I guess I want to Inquisition, yeah. Uh, maybe they just kept a card that's more expensive than three. Maybe they have Dress Down in end. Yeah, I wanna... Actually, let me check if I have a, another land in my deck. Because this is all exiled. Where does the Overgrown Tomb? Is in the deck? Yeah, alright, so we do have a land in our deck. Let me just double check at two Overgrown Tomb. I never, can, can never be too sure. Wow, three. Okay, perfect. Alright, so let's Inquisition you first. Aya, Teferone, okay. Then go land go. Now I have to hope they don't draw a dress down. I should have really have to go to the bathroom. I'm sorry, opponent. Uh, this is game three. Can I go to the bathroom? I have seven minutes on the clock. Man, I should have gone before. All right, pass the turn. Go. <sighs> Hello, doctor. All right, see what I do. This is just a big Teferi. Yes, okay. Please don't find Dress Down and just die to my constructs. If you find a Dress Down, it's bad. It's bad. All right, you play land. You have one card in hand. 
Just don't be a dress down, please. Just don't be a dress down, please. Race needs to go to the bathroom and drink some water. Yeah, that's the combo. You're both thirsty and have to go to the bathroom. It is a very normal condition. Since I started streaming. It wasn't like this before. I had time to do things before and I didn't have to talk every minute of my life. Okay. All on tap. Draw. Do I want to make a construct? Sure. I mean, sure. If you have dress down, you got me, I lose. But this way, if you have, a, I don't know, a solitude, you can chum block and block, and you can kill one, chum block the other. I still have two threats. All right, let's go to combo. Let's go to combat. Eh, if I tackle you and you go for that solitude play, yeah, I think this is the best. See if you have the solitude here or a dress. Dress down is pff, the game goes on for so long now. Solitude, yeah, we keep on living. All right, yep, that's that's fine. Again, seven. I guess yeah, again seven, yeah, and you go to what seven? Mm-hmm. Yep. And then I uh, play with a blossom. You also want to play a reclaimer. I think so. This reclaimer really does nothing, so might as well just play it. If you have a, a Wrath of God, that's okay with me. I'll just uh, yield until next end step. <sighs> Alright, I'll take a bathroom break. Hopefully, it doesn't mean I lose the game, but I really have to go. Oh, I won the match. I won the match. Woo! Woo! Ah, round number, ooh, we are against the, uh, round number, last round of the league, not on YouTube, playing against Emayashi, which is a, a player who likes to play a card called, a card called Blood Moon, which is pretty strong against my deck, unfortunately. And uh, Blood Moon is a... <laughs> a Blood Moon is a very annoying card. <sighs> yeah, it started with the Zelvish Reclaimer that's just asking, asking to be killed. And it does die. Make sure it's Research Desk. Alright, that's a card advantage. Whoa, that's a basic forest. Nice. Very, very, very nice draw. Super nice. Uh, do I just want to play a Goif, which dies to removal spell again, but... I think I want to do it, yeah. I mean, obviously, if they go Bolt in the turn, I'm like, ah, that's unfortunate. But I also not have a Bolt. Fury, Field of Ruin. Wow, Field of Ruin. All right, Saga, you stay here, hidden. Okay, that Fury there. See, Goyf is just a check, like makes them ha make make them have it. I think. I think it was uh -huh. wow. They got oh, Bosch to hand, and now you go Fury pitch a Bosch. Classic. All right, sure, but yeah, I mean, Dark Company was good here, as I, as I told you. I think it was the right play, mostly because of exactly this interaction. Okay, now I think I'll play Saga now. I was if they have Blood Moon, they Stone Rain me. But once again, this is just similar to before, a check, as in, do you have it? I mean, they also have, Field of Ruin is exiled, they can cast this one. Blood Moon, it's annoying, but if they don't start making Construct, I win the game. Fable, so they don't. Why not Drum? You, you, you're right, I should have played Drum, I'm sorry, I didn't... I didn't play drum. That was a mistake. All right. Now, let's go for a blotchy thirst here. A, yeah, just uh, attack and pass. 
Do I want to play this drum? Or do I, I will write, uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe it's better to play the drum than, uh, than to attack for one. Also this way, if my opponent plays Blood Moon, I can't suck the Saga response. Not sure if I should though. Oh, right, anyway, let's go. Go to a fable. They just got two lands, very nice. Top land, very nice. Let's make a token. Is this a case of reactive versus proactive? A point index is kind of reactive with those like Field of Ruin and, and Blood Moon and such. And sometimes the reactive deck doesn't have the the cards at the right time, and they ended up dying to the cards that they are usually good at killing. All right, I think I'm taking Shadow Spear here. Shadow Spear, and uh, I can't really take down this Goyf now. How do you take down this Goyf? I don't think you can. I guess Blast Zone. It's like an Ed's win to me. Alright, so I played a whole league against mid-range decks. I guess Living End didn't, wasn't a mid-range deck. But yeah, uh, this deck might be good against mid-range decks. Yuri pitching Spikefield Hazard. Wow. Okay. Killing a Construct. And then you have one card in end only. And you pass. Alright, so they have Blood Zone to kill my shot. Oh, they, they concede. GG. All right. Um, mm, I'll definitely have the Hay White Might and the Go for the Throats. I'm taking out Dark Confidant. I'm taking out Nihil Spellbomb. I want to have a couple of bitter blossom, maybe actually three. Uh huh, maybe. Yeah, I think maybe three. Maybe a lot. I guess I don't like Thoughtseize. I like bitter blossom better than Thoughtseize. Bitter blossom sucks against Fury. But my opponent deck is really. Maybe Turak is good. Hmm. Let's go with this for now. Osh versus Giganta. Ooh. I was going to say lands and spells. Uh, it's not the best hand, but I'm not going to mulligan it. Up and go. Draw. Nice. I'll just go Reclaimer. I don't care if they kill it with a removal spell. I don't think I'll ever be able to get three lands in the graveyard for this. Ooh, spike. Okay, good thing my one mana card doesn't die to a, a spike to the hazard. The bolt does. Mm hmm Remnant Ruins and Mishra's Research. Yes. Okay. Goyf is a 3-4, so already doesn't die to... Haha, -ha, they're on a play saga. It is risky. It is risky. Like, they can go Blood Moon and kill the Saga. I think it's fine if it happens, honestly. They play Blood Moon. I uh, pump my Tarmogoy for three. Okay, they killed my Goyf with Fury. Pitching Spike. 
All right, and they play Mishra's Richard this guy's got a blast zone. All right, we once again attack with uh, with Saga seems like. That's perfect. That's perfect. Let's go, Saga. Very happy that our Urza Saga, you know you know how much I dislike Urza Saga in mid-range decks, but it is definitely performing very well now. Uno Ruin. Alright, so they found an answer to my saga. That's okay. So get my <laughs> tiny little 1-1 one -one token. And my last basic as well. And you stomp me. Mm -hmm. Drop. Bubble. Mm. I think I just uh, want to drain you and get back my Urza Saga. And then I want to bubble uh, you, why not? I put a push in my deck. Flame Slash, okay, that's a sorcery. And I'll play a Shadow Spear, hmm, yeah. I don't think so, actually. I want to go for the throat up. Yeah, modern deck have a, a low converted mana cost, usually in a, a high format, a high power format. The converted mana cost of cards gets to be lowered. Wow, they decide to play around my go for the throat by drawing some cards instead land and another flame slash it seems two cards in it one is a flame slash all right hey i got nothing to do but I have a urza saga so that's strong you're crazy to see if miko synth gardens will still play modern it seems like a good card so yeah it's pr probably happening for sure okay uh what do i do here mm. definitely make some tokens so i'm gonna thought is you first See what you have. Flame Slash Fury. I'll take the Fury. Seems like a power, more powerful card. Then I guess I can go for a um, drum and pass. You reveal two cards. Hopefully, there's no Bloodman. There is Fable or Fury. So you get to play Fable next turn. All right. You play it. You have two cards in end. One is Flame Slash and one is a mystery card. This Mistress Richard Death is doing a lot of value for you. Okay. Let's make a construct and untap. And let's make another construct. Is this the bag of holding game? I think so. Hmm. I can get Haywhite Might too and kill the Fable. Why go for the Throat over Power Word Kill? Um, not sure. There must be a reason, right? Uh, I was thinking. So Haywhite Might kills Fable, but yeah. Hmm. It's difficult now. I think it's the game where I try to go for Bag of Holding. Nah, the problem with Bag of Holding is the dice to Blast Zone. If they didn't have Blast Zone, I would have honestly just taken the bag. But they, yeah. Let's go. I mean, Shadow Spear and Drum will die to the zone, but I think it's okay. I think this is a lot of damage that I don't want to pass upon. So I'm gonna keep this. 
Epka, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome. Now, do I want to... Do I want to kill the Fable? If I kill the Fable with my might, the Construct dies to Flame Splash. But I can just crack the zone and still do that, so... I think I am uh, doing that, so... I think I'm killing the Fable right now, before they loot. Again, my Construct now died to Flame Slash, which is not great, but I think this is fine. Mark the Regent is a dragon? Alright then, you got you got yourself an answer. Yep, Flame Slash. Bye bye. I have two cards in hand, which I don't know no one I don't know cards there, and they have a bone crusher. And they play another fable, okay. One card in hand. Draw. Inquisition. All right, let me attack with four first. Or if they have a, what do they have in end? It's a spell for sure. I think I'd rather Bazejuing the Fable and then get back Giganta this turn. For the next turn, Giganta. They have a lot of mana here with those Goblin Shaman going. The Beggar Bolt, honestly, I would have been happier to take a Beggar Bolt. This is this Blast Zone killing it. Yeah, made me scared. This is Electric Bob's list, yes. I net deck, he's a 4 0 up preliminary. Looks like they're cracking the zone. Makes sense. My construct is now just a tiny one one that dies to bolt. They have one card in hand. It could still be a spell. Oh, Spyro. Wow, I thought we were going to play Bone Crusher. The two new cards. One card. Wow, they just played every card. Haha, <laughs> crazy. Alright. They have no cards in hand now. Bro, I, I've done it much, unfortunately. What am I missing here? Not that way. Not that one. So let's go Giganta. Eh. Do I want to play this Rot Farm? Yeah. I will. But yeah, I don't think I'm winning this game. I think it's going to be a game three now. You want to keep Rot Farm for Saga? Sure. Yeah, I could have done that, but. I might need a lot of mana, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's a mistake. They go Mistress Reacher's desk. Ooh, they choose Blood Moon. Okay, so they cast Blood Moon. But they don't cast Blood Moon. Weird. Nice. Can they cast this? Can be played until their next until the end of next turn. Till the end of your next turn. Does this mean they can cast it in next turn? I, I don't know. Until the end of your next turn. I'm not gonna get back or is side of then. I can get I can get back Bazaju. And plus they have relic, so yeah, I'll probably just pass here. Does the Rut Farm have any other reason they're returning Saga? Uh, well, it's card advantage. Why the a creature that has for red? Yes. The 
Yes, you play Blood Moon. You probably have a Bone Crushing Giant in hand. Why is this attack? Doesn't make much sense. I'm gonna inquisition them because I think they have bone crusher in hand. I guess they're gonna just shoot me for one. All right, they stomp this. Wow, okay. Hey, I'll uh, play Elvish Reclaimer and pass. <clears throat> I could concede here, honestly. I don't think. I have that many outs. I mean, I guess Bozeju might be an out. Yeah, Bozeju. Bozeju might be an out here. Whoa. Interesting attack. What do you have here? Fury? I guess. How does Urborg work with Bloodman? Very easily, actually. Try to think about it. Try to think about it, how easily it is. Why block? I forgot about the relic. Uh, nah, I can see that. I don't want to play this game anymore. Final game <coughs> of this league. Let's see Blood Moon or Reserberg, and Urberg is mounting. Very smart. Pithy Needle. Pithy Needle might be naming Relic. That's so bad, though. You know, honestly... This cyborg is mostly bad cards, so... Last game. Let's see if we can get a 4-1. Hey, this one is good. I'm keeping it. Alright, so let's begin by... Um, first, I want to bubble you, and then Inquisition, so I have more information. Blood Moon. Yeah, I'll take it. Here go. I feel the ruin for my saga, but I can't. Uh, they, they won't, that won't stop me from uh, from making a construct. Also, wow, this is a very large goyf. I guess they can go fury plus bone crusher. Hmm, that's fine though, right? That's a lot of card advantage. Let's see what I pitch to Fury. Probably just another Fury. No, oh, the pitch Spyro. Wow. Okay. Nice. I'll uh, fetch first because they have uh, the field of ruin. And then I pass. Maybe I was supposed to play Thoughtseize and not Tarmogoyf, but I don't know. 
Ooh, they play Fable instead. Wow. Let me get two tokens. Interesting. I just want to double check that I didn't make a mistake with my... With writing down my opponent in hand. I want to make sure they had two Furies. Because maybe I made a mistake there. When I thought it them. Inquisition them, sorry. No, they had two Furies, okay. So they have two Furies in hand. Okay, so let's go to draw stuff. Let's make a token. Now, my opponent has Blazon. Here, what I'm doing is uh, just Thoughts is your Fury. For sure. Yeah. Thoughts is your Fury, for sure. I don't want to get Drum. Yeah, I think getting Drum is bad here. But I kind of want to kill... No, because I don't want to kill the Golden Shaman either. <clears throat> what if I get... The Mountain is in play. Yeah, okay, sorry. This is difficult because this might be my one shot of getting the Bag of Holding for the grind game. Which this game might turn into. Drum, I get to Bloodshift Thirst and Thoughts is this turn. Maybe I should actually. No, Bloodshift Thirst and Thoughts is this turn. Maybe I should get the drum. Yeah. So, first, I want to play a Thoughtseize. Your hand is Fury Bone Crusher Giant. Alright. What should I take? I just want to take Fury. I think Fury is too good. And then I will uh, play Push or Bloodship Thirst. No, I think I'll play Bloodship Thirst. I'll attack you for three. Go. Alright, let's see how they discard with Fable, because they have Bone Crusher plus Mystery Card. They keep it in end, okay. And they cast the Crusher from the side. And they play a top land. They have one card and then it's a Bone Crusher Giant draw. Go for the throat. Okay. I'll play go for the throat. I'll play hey white might and attack you for eight. Look at the Urza saga. Mm, such a beating. Point chose not to play field of ruin. Maybe that 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 play will turn against them. They have bone crusher and a mystery card in end. They get they get reflection, which I can't kill with might. They play a second blood zone. The blood zone can kill both might and drum. I'll take a turn. Draw attack for eight. Ah, oh, top land is not good here. Attack for eight. You're a nine. You chum block. I think so. The, my problem with this is that the opponent gets to trade my construct. Maybe I was supposed to. Actually, they get to kill everything I have here. Yeah, maybe I was supposed to just kill the reflection first. Yeah, I think I have to now do this. She isn't great. Oh, it says non-creature. Never mind. I don't know what my cards do. Alright. Now end of turn, you get to uh, crack the zone and and you kill my construct and my hay white might and my drum. So what I should have done was killing the fable in killing the fable be before it became a reflection. Yeah, that's what I should have done. Mistake, not a mistake. 
They're exalted relic. Sure. All right, if I catch if I draw land here, do oh they keep up. Okay, wisdom command. That's good. That's good. That's very good. Very good draw here. Thank God I didn't play this relic. All right, I think I want to push my construct. Is this a is this a reasonable play? I make you fizzle the uh, bone crusher. I think so. I think it's a reasonable play. Cause I don't trigger. I don't enable the. Uh... I don't enable uh, revolt that easily here. So let's go with the bloom command. Uh, do the two modes. You go to three life, which is not very many, and the player is a saga. And I know you have a field of ruin, but this sets me up for the next Ur's saga. Plus gives me the fifth mana to Arcas Gigantha. Alright, I put the second field of ruin, sure thing. I kill my saga, I get a land. Next turn Gigantha is gonna be huge. No cards in end. They can crack the relic, sure. Draw their three. Bag of Olding. Va bene. Let's play Giganta for now. You're a... So you have to chum block it with Den of the Bugbear if you don't draw anything. Which I hope you don't. Giganta is large. Doesn't die to Flame Slash or Lightning Bolt. Which my opponent plays. Very, very strong card. They crack the relic, looking for an answer for Giganta. Let's see if they find it. Oh, they play Bone Crush Giant. Oh, wow. You do your double removal spell? Madonna, che culo, puttana boia. Che culo. Porco cazzo. Va bene, va bene, va bene, va bene, va bene. Draw. I'm not dead yet. Let's play the bag. Let's use it. Let's play Mishra's Bubble. It's on top of your deck. Spike Field Hazard, sure. Go. Good morning, Basusti. They can uh, they can get in with a den. They can cast the Bone Crusher. You crack the zone, sure. You didn't want me to get value. Drop. Spell. That's a shame. That is a shame. Point is a three life. I need to draw Tarmogoyf. I need to draw a Bitter Blossom. I don't know, I don't know if Bitter Blossom is good actually. That's yeah, probably not good. I do draw Tarmogoyf. Keep Flash for a push? Yeah, maybe I should have done that. If I draw a push, it's pretty bad now. Oh, the push still kills the end, so. Ooh, Bazeju, that also kills the end. Uh, Alright, go. Let's hope they activate then. Out of field of ruin. Alright. I'll um let's you this. So I'll pick four. Come on now, let's draw Tarmogoyf. Tarmogoyf. Saga. Not great, but okay. I got a five. Yeah, Doctor. That, that was the right play to make. Kill my saga. I got a swamp. Mm. Like, come on. I have three goyf in my deck. 
Let's rot him. Even Elvish Reclaimer isn't the worst relic. All right, now go if sucks and Elvish Reclaimer as well. So what is my out? Well, first I need like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know if I have any. Yep. All right, GG. Okay, though, I think it was a strong, uh, I think it was a strong league. You know, I, I definitely expected the worst. It was a fun, it was a fun league. Hope you enjoyed. And again, if you're watching this on YouTube, after this going to be the round one. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, I was just trying things out to see if um, it helps the YouTube views. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching and subscribe to the channel. Leave like, leave comment, you know, the usuals. Thank you for watching. Okay, Gigant is great in this deck because we have uh, infinite discard spell, so often this deck is gonna just go in top deck mode against a deck that goes also top deck mode. Like, that's the nature of these discard spells deck. They tend to just put both players in top deck mode. I'm gonna mulligan this hand. I don't wanna, I don't want this hand. All right, I'll keep this one. Let's go. Good morning, Yankuri and Roy. Honest mango deck reviews. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. I mean, I tried to click bait and everything, but once you clicked, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, um, so that deck plays uh, playing as Cam, so that deck plays uh, the uh, Undying Malice effect. So surely they have uh, another uh, the option to go Ragavan Dash now, but I think it's more likely that they have uh, an Undying effect. I could also save the, my uh, Ragavan for my my uh, Rick, sorry my uh, Withrow command for the Ragavan, but you know I'm on the draw. I'm on the draw. It is what it is. Like you lose the die roll, and your deck is naturally worse because your opponent is on the play, and they get to do things one turn faster than you. If I was on the play, I would have Withrow commanded. It would have been great because I would have killed the Ragavan and draw an extra card with the mill three get back a land. But it didn't happen. So now I'm playing those things which can get me Urza Saga to grind my opponent. Alright, so what does this do again? Uh, this again, Mills return is bad because they have a Dolty Woodwalker. Oh, Fury. Yep, I lost everything. I was hoping to play around only one removal spell. That's fine, it's two for two though. Three cards. What did you pitch? Spyro. Mm. Mamma mia. Mamma mia, sacata. <sighs> oh, that's all I would move, man. But we'll see, obviously. Like, if, I was a, if I was on the draw, I would have praised this card to be great because I would kill a Rago and draw an extra card. Hello, Jonathan. Good morning. All right, so those are my exile card with the uh, void counter on it. Rangelands. What's that thing? Like a mechanic bug? Seems like that. Fury Pitch Fable. Wow. You also have a Undying Evil effect. You don't. Alright. And then Spyro. Makes sense. Spyro makes sense here because you just empty your hand. Another one, sure. Draw. Yeah. Not much to do here. I can use things to, 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 to drain and kill an elemental, but I'd rather I'd rather just lose than using a Wither Command to drain two life and kill an elemental. Alright, first game did not go well. First game definitely uh 
just kind of <laughs> kind of showed why Rock the Scam is, is 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 a good deck. All right. Uh, now, what do we do against the scam? How do we scam the scammer? So this was well pretty bad against scam. But I don't want to take, I mean, I think with the Book of Enders, actually, I guess all of those draw, we can kill Ragavan with this, so I'm going to keep it. I mean, I think it's what we do here, bring him Be the Blossom, so Be the Blossom and Confident. I might just bring in extra threats, maybe Turak. I don't know, Turak is just a creature, I think it's better than Inquisition. Thoughts is fine, though, because I have Grief and Fury that are very good against me. Do I play any Pioneer? No, last time I played Pioneer was uh, during um, Regional Championship Sofia in November. I played uh, Enigmatic Incarnation. That was my last time I played Pioneer. The next one is going to be in June for the next Regional Championship. Not the one in March, the one in June. We'll try now with another deck. Yeah, always. That's what I do. Try out new decks. And then Merc Tide. Alright, that's a keep. I pick up some bubble action here on turn one. This will uh, help me filter um filter our lands, because I don't want to draw fourth land here. So I get to do this. I see with a bloom command. Yeah, I don't mind drawing it. Again, they might go Ragavan. Thoughtseize. Hello, Zangoon. How's it going? They took the Dark Confident. Rip. Drop. Possession who endures. Sure. Uh, I don't want to go tap land. I mean, they might go Dotty Woodwalker. In which case, I think I, I don't mind going Bird and Catacombs. Also deck thinning, you know? Maybe last game I was supposed to let my opponent hit me with the Ragavan, but it just feels so weird, right? To, to let him hit me with the Ragavan. Alright, maybe I'm supposed to fetch a play, uh, basic land because they might have a uh, Blood Moon in their deck. Pause sideboard, yeah. Whatever, let's just tap out for Giganta. The Giganta is very important in this deck, I tell you. Bonjour, no, bonjour, no. Happy Monday, everybody. It's been a very rainy days over here, which in my my city is not very well equipped to fight rain, unfortunately. Which sounds like a joke, but I'm not joking. Like they actually have to close things every time it freaking rains. But what did this deck do? Uh, does that want a preliminary? Maybe it didn't draw as many. With the command. <laughs> Imagine having a card that you can proactively cast. That couldn't be me. That couldn't be me. No, don't discard my Giganta. No. Don't discard my Giganta. Man, this card is so reactive. So reactive, this card. All three modes. I mean, I guess the mill three get back a land. Is, you can do it. But you have, to, you have, you have, you have to, your opponent to do something. And, I mean, my opponent draws, we honestly just lose to most things. But the fact that I I also can't do anything. I just just cast a Gigant and I kill it. <laughs> and, yeah, I got nothing. Again. I need, like, a Planeswalker. Like, I don't know, Obnixilus. Why don't milling myself with command? This card does nothing. It just gets back a land. Oh, because you want to fight, you want to find Urza Saga? No, that just that would be that would be card disadvantage if you if you miss. 
Mango doesn't do card is advantage. Like Urza Saga. Come on, F4, my deck. He goes, no, it is weakened. No, it never snows here. It never snows here. It's only the... It's only the rain. Kirksa? No, don't Kirksa me. Hmm. Ragon Dash. Wow, it's three sorcery. <laughs> Imagine if this was the new edict, though. If this was the new edict, I would have gotten Ragon. Alright, so this deck improves with the next set, for sure. It's a new opponent, my deck only has land. Alright, all right, all right. first match, the deck did not perform, but we have more matches, because we have five every league. Oh, I think they only fight a push, that's it. So, for my, for my burn video that I have posted on YouTube on Tuesday, I have decided to rearrange the videos in order to put the one where I lose at the bottom. Because I go 0-1-4-1. And uh, I just felt that, I just felt that the deck was very good, but I lost the first match. So, you know, if I also do well in the next round, I might put this at the end. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Let's not have that ma ma negative, my madonna mia sta merda incredibile. I don't want to cast it, I don't care if there's another side on top of my deck. I'll draw it if there's on top of my deck. Can you just not play any good card opponent? Can you also play some with a little command in your deck? Alright, Grief's fine. What is DS Daniel? Grief's fine. The Ninja, wow. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hello, the Ninja. How's it going? All right, it's time. It's time, the ninja. We have to mill a Hello, minus three, minus one. We have to mill Urza Saga. Do we have it? Do we have Urza Saga in our deck? Eccola lì, bella, 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 bella. The ninja is your. It's because it's your gift. It's your gift to us. The thing was, I was going to do this thing to mill in order to find Saga, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to do it, I didn't want to do it without the target. So now, I, despite this would normally be at the card disadvantage, because we also killed the grief, it was, it was a card disadvantage, you see. You listen to my podcast and you have to, it's inspired you to play alchemy, it's been quite fun. All right, Hope. I will definitely bring your uh, feedback to Javier and Anthony. Thank you. When no possession, their lands are returned with command. Possessing a Blackcliff Cliff is a disaster of a play. You don't achieve anything. Except you lost a card from your hand. Kirksa. Okay. You've been on to me tonight. Thank you. All right, I got a twelve. Hopefully, they don't have a land here to bring this back, since my deck can probably never beat this card. <laughs> I have no way to exile. Although, when I bring it, no, it's it. The new edict just edicts. Right, right, right. Three Spyro Blood Moon. No, my Matsi Saga. Maledetto. 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 Draw. Honestly, the only good thing of this Blood Moon right now is that I can't cast Kroxa. I'm not, not joking. I didn't want to possess you the Blood Moon because I can't cast Kroxa right now. And I topped like a card that I didn't even know was available to me. Alright, so now I can go with the Bloom Command. To bring back the saga for when I possess you, but honestly, right now I don't want to possess you. I'll keep this over going to me and to this current group, sir. So. 
It presents your election next weekend in Czech Republic. Nice. No, my Tarmogoyf. All right, it's dead. Basically, in order to win this game, I have to hope my opponent never draws it. No, a swamp. Mountain Spyro, okay. I can also draw. No, I can't draw any heal spell bomb. At least I have no outs of this crooks if they draw it. Ooh. Alright, that's a nice one. That's big. Go. Do -do 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 -do. Sorry. More spirals. What's that? They kill my reclaimer? La, 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 la. Apparently, Italy is the country after India where the Prime Minister is the most beloved from their countrymen. Kind of crazy to think about it, but it is what it is. I got nine. Have you looked at spoilers yet? Yeah, yeah, we have. All right, all right, all right. I'm on nine. I can keep on drawing good cards. Nice, I do actually. I can actually win here. If my opponent just stops drawing removal spells, so it might be okay. It might be okay. What do you think of Tivar the new set? Is it possible for Drew combo? I mean, it's possible, but Drew combo is still gonna be a a bad deck because of the uh, amount of cheap removal spell in the format, not because of the lack of a planeswalker that gives it haste. It's 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 going to improve, but you know the nature of the deck is different. Coolness command, you return Spyro and kill my Drum. All right. Goodbye, Drum. You've done nothing. Actually, you did something. You let my opponent not use this mode to do something else. Yep. All right. The Shadow Sphere. I think I have it in the deck. Yes. That might actually be a win if I draw a Shadow Sphere. As long as I put it, it doesn't have a second black for Blood Moon. We're fine. Thoughts easy. Yeah, I'm casting it. I'll get a seven, but I have to find the removal spell for or a viewer or two. Uh, yeah, your your turn. Generally, these days, I really uh, expect very little from Planeswalkers. Wizards so scared to make good Planeswalkers that it's... Like, in order for a good Planeswalker to come out, it really needs to, like, slip under the radar. Like, Oko, for example. That just, they, you know, didn't properly test it. But because... because Planeswalker is a type that they... Yeah, they just so safe with Planeswalker these days that every time they print a Planeswalker, it's, it's generally bad. Alright, it's time to play this with the Bloom Command. So, uh, I mean, I could return Saga if I want to kill this Blood Moon, but I really don't. I really don't want to kill this Blood Moon, like, ever. So I'm gonna just do uh, minus 3, minus 1, and drain. Minus 3, minus 1, and drain. And then I'll uh, play a land. And then it's your turn. Yeah, make two tokens. Totsies. No push. Alright, it's finally over. Okay, okay. This first game definitely showed a lot of the flaws of the deck. Let's see if the next games will make the deck shine a little bit more.